Welcome to this Easy 11 Plus short lesson on advanced currency skills. Please subscribe to my channel, please check out the links in the video description including some freebies and don't forget that the worksheet for today's lesson is also linked in the video description where you can download it and print it off. Let's get started. We don't know anything about the currency on Planet Cash except that this addition sum works. We need to work out how it works. We can see that 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 tinkles leave us with three tinkles at the bottom. Well, five plus four is nine, plus three is 12, plus three is 15. So how can that give three? This must mean that 12 tinkles were carried into the next column. And we can see that the number of clinks here, in fact, add up to six. Yet we have eight down here, and the difference between six and eight is two. This must mean that when 12 tinkles were carried from the right-hand column, they made two clinks which were added to the left-hand column. If 12 tinkles made two clinks, then one clink must be worth six tinkles. Just to recap that, we've added up the number of tinkles in the right-hand column, and we found that they add up to 15 but we can see that the result for the total of tinkles is only three. That must mean that 12 tinkles were carried into the first column. You're used to carrying tens when you do additions, but here we've carried two lots of six or 12 because those 12 made two clinks in the first column. This tells us that one clink is worth six tinkles. If you still haven't got it, watch it again, try the question yourself with the worksheet and you'll get the hang of it. For now, let's move on. We know that one clink is equivalent to six tinkles. It's worth noting that down so that we have it there when we need it. Now we could do the subtraction using a column method, but why not simplify things? Four clinks and three tinkles must equal a certain number of tinkles, and we know that there are six tinkles in a clink. Four clinks is four lots of six tinkles, and there are three more tinkles, so we just need to work out four times six plus three. So we've got 27 tinkles in this first row. Let's do the same for the second row. And now we just need to subtract 17 tinkles from 27 tinkles. So we're left with 10 tinkles. But can we just write 10 here? No, we can't, because we know that there are six tinkles in a clink because 10 can be broken into six and four, 10 tinkles include one clink and four tinkles. You could also do this using the column subtraction as it's set up originally. Let's have a look. We can't do three minus five because five is greater than three. So we need to carry to make three larger. If we change four clinks into three clinks, that means that we need to carry across six tinkles, because six tinkles are equivalent to the one clink that we've taken from the left-hand column. So we need to increase three by six. And now we can see that nine minus five is four, and three minus two is one, which gives us the same result. I think that method is slightly quicker, but I think that my first method is simpler to understand. Looking at this division problem, by far the simplest approach is going to be to turn everything into tinkles. We got seven clinks and two tinkles, and we need to divide this by four. Seven clinks, if we times that by six, we'll get the number of tinkles because one clink is six tinkles. And we need to add on the other two tinkles. Now we need to do 44 divided by four. So we've got 11 tinkles, but of course 11 tinkles is more than a clink because a clink is six tinkles. If 11 is six plus five, then 11 is one clink and five tinkles. Once you get the hang of what's going on here, it isn't too difficult to answer these questions. I hope that was useful. I think it's quite fun maths. Please subscribe to my channel. Please take a moment to check the links in the video description. And I look forward to seeing you back next Tuesday evening at six o'clock for my next Easy 11 Plus live lesson. Bye-bye.